<laughs> All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to play through Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Complete. Another uh, very, very well done Mugen. Um, I'm really enjoying the uh, Mugens in this pack of six. Uh, you can see in this version, you have Shao Kahn and Motaro as available characters to use. You also have Human Smoke down here, and I believe that's it. You got Rain, Noob Saibot. We are gonna do a playthrough with uh, Shiva. I'm gonna choose a high kick and see what uh, color we get. It's different every time. Go through the Novice Tower and uh, see what Ultimate MK3 has to offer in uh, this amazing version. Here we go. Alright, Shiva in purple. Seven hit combo intact, 42% damage. Let's start off with Baby. Let's see, what uh, fatality fight should we start off with? Eight hits is fifty one percent damage. You'll see his uh, mask is actually still on the uh, skinned figure there. <laughs> Very cool detail. I like it. So that is the one fatality. Right. You do not knock them into the upper levels of this game, I noticed. Uh, not on this version. So that is one thing they have taken out. But that is not a huge deal in my, uh, in my books. Let's see what other uh, fatalities she has. All right. <laughs> Nice little bone and uh, cartilage sculpture she creates there with Sub-Zero's head left on and intact. Very cool. All right. Let's do another fatality. The street stage. I gotta tell you, these uh, versions, the complete versions, stay very, uh, very true to the arcade. They do play different. Um, the AI is completely different, which is great because uh, Ultimate MK3 was, to many of us, too hard. <laughs> the AI was too relentless, but this is definitely more doable. Let's see if they left her uh, animality intact. We'll give Cyrax this round. As far as I know, you still have to perform a Mercy. Uh, to do the animality, so let's see what uh, Shiva's animality is in this one. Crushing him. She does not turn into a scorpion in this version. Rather, a charcoal looking spider. But that's cool. That works, considering all her arms. Very good. Round one, fight. <laughs> happened a couple times where we both throw an uppercut only to miss each other. 
So far, this version plays awesome. Round two. Plays uh, just as good as uh, MK3. Uh, with different stages. But the thing I do like about this stage is that it is swirling in the background, which is great because uh, the arcade is just a static picture, it seems like. Whereas the uh, background moves on this makes it more mysterious. Forward, down, down, forward, low punch. Again, the animation is slightly different on that one, so that's cool. A little bit more detail, I like that. All right, there is a pit fatality here, I believe. Let's see if we can get them to say crispy. Excellent. Like I said, the um, the AI definitely takes it a lot easier on you in this one, which is fantastic because the game was for myself too hard on the uh, the arcade in the original. <laughs> No uh, crispy. Maybe you have to hold both controllers. Who knows? High punch and uh, block. <clears throat> Regardless, it still looks cool. You'll notice a uh, new subway fatality in this one. The uh, subway fatality in this looks really awesome. We will do it to Jax. The uh, jumping combos work really well in this. Jax doesn't do uh, four hits on that, but great. Ooh, nice. Got Jax's head in the uh, lower left left side of the screen there. I do uh, like that variation for the subway fatality better than the original. Uh, we will do a pit fatality in Kano. Try anyways. You can get that combo. It's fifty one percent. there's a variation of the uh, brutality in this version too. I'm not sure what you got to do to uh, get it to work. I think you hold down high punch and run or something like that. There's actually a pit fatality in this stage too. Uh, we'll do that to Shang Tsung if we beat him. Gives you codes at the end there. It'll get a little harder. Shang Tsung's winning pose in this, slightly different. Fight. Shoot. 
hit fatality in this, you actually get your soul taken. Very, very cool. Love that one. So we've covered his uh, fatal or her fatalities. We are on Motaro, so she does have a brutality, but we've seen those before. Let's see. Let's see how Motaro uh, behaves in this version. A couple new moves. Laser moving this now. Apparently, you can spam the uh, stomp if you want. Does take uh, energy off. There we go. No problem. Final battle. Now there are codes at the end of this. There's one to uh, fight Aqua, robotic, uh, a robotic Aqua. I do not know the codes though. Fight. If you get a lot of flawless victories and such, then uh, it gives you codes like pieces to the code. However, it doesn't uh, doesn't give you the whole thing. Or I haven't gotten the whole thing yet, anyway. There we go. First round victory. Like I said about this version, it's just it's more lenient. I really like that. There you have it. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 complete. Done. 12 minutes, <laughs> a very, very good version. Definitely one worth playing if you uh, have the chance. I would love to play these. Unfortunately, they're not online, but I would also love to play them with somebody also. Now we'll show the endings. Um, this, if you leave the uh, code the same, it's it's not anything, just so you know. Um, you know, we can try something. The odds are it's not going to be anything. It'll be completely random. And that's all that'll happen. You can try over and over and over again. We will exit. Now, does it show Shiva's ending? Or does it jump right into the credits? We will see. Whatever the case, thank you for watching. And it uses the art style from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Unfortunately, which, uh, because the Mortal Kombat 3 artwork, in my opinion, for the endings, is just, it's so much better because it's original. However, there you have it. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 complete. Another fantastic Mugen. And I will show the credits to give, uh, to give respect to those who created this version. Thank you very much for watching, everybody.